All right, we're back. Ready to go. Okay, um, got a lot to cover, so we'll try to make this one uh, quick and to the point. Um, had a crazy few days here with the tournament over the weekend. We got really busy and um, your uh, business travel, so uh, we got a little bit behind getting this out. So we're gonna try to get in um, good for a couple, couple rounds of announcements today. Um, one quick correction before we get there, um, and just a general comment about the process for this. In, anybody that was uh, ranked in the top three pretty much automatically got um, invited to this event. Um, obviously, there are some kids are playing football. Um, uh, our buddy uh, Ben Barton had a little injury that's going to keep him out for a couple weeks. Um, so we had uh, a number of people who have declined to participate. Um, and uh, so that's where we have our first correction of our announcements. At 145, um, Jackson Oxford has decided not to participate. And uh, he's going to be replaced by Jordan Kidwell from Cooper, um, state placer last year. And um, our discussions with the folks at the uh, number of kids at kids and parents at Cooper, there's going to be a little flip in the uh, lineup. and. Kidwell's gonna drop down to 145 next season and Bailey's gonna be moving up. Um, so uh, Kidwell's a state placer at 52. We'll uh, slide in pretty highly ranked at 145. So um, it should be a good matchup with, uh, with Kidwell and Mason Smith at 145. Um, our first new announcement uh, for this week, uh, 106 will be Blake Roth from Walton Verona and Nate Wheeler from St. X. Um, two guys who've both been really successful um, coming up through middle school. Um, Blake was in the middle school state finals four times, more than a couple times. Um, been, uh, been very successful. Uh, followed that up last year with the high school state placement at 106. Um, these two actually had a really, really good battle in the consolations um, at the state tournament last year, coming back um, to decide who was going to place. Um, really good match. So, uh, should be, uh, I think, a good, good battle. Yeah, <laughs> that will be a good description of this one, I think. Uh, yeah, I've watched these two wrestle. Um, I've seen them practice together. They. Uh, they go at it and they go at it hard. So I, I, I think as far as an exciting match, those guys will definitely be a fun match. I like watching the lighter guys wrestle anyways. A lot of movement, a lot of points. Um, I think between the two, Wheeler has actually transferred. Um, I, you know, I think there was some question where he was gonna go. He actually ended up moving to St. X, going with Coach Nabel. Um, that's, uh, yeah, just, just to be clear, if I was in the rule, we would be in green with Coach Neal. <laughs> so he, uh, he's one of my favorite coaches. So it should be a good matchup. We're excited to see. That will be the first matchup of the tournament. We're going to start at 106, and we will move our way up. So good luck to both those guys. And, I uh, guess n another kind of uh, well underlying matchup with that is those guys wrestled in middle school state finals. They did. Two years ago? They did. Blake yeah. was eighth grade. Nate was... Seventh, whenever that was. Yeah, and um, they, they, I think they were in the blood round at the state tournament this year, right? Close to it. Yeah, pretty um, close so to it. So those, those they definitely have some history. It should be, uh, should be a good one. Should be good. All right, next, 120, Ryan Moore, which I kind of gave that away last week in the car. I put a post on there. Jason had me rattled, put me on the spot. So. Now, I'm, uh, now we can officially announce it. I think someone on Kentucky Wrestling actually guessed it. Um, Moore versus Hurst. So I think uh, matchup-wise, you know, someone put that out there. That's what we had already had planned anyways. Um, I got to see both those guys wrestle this weekend at Indiana. We were at the preseason Who's Your Open. Um, Hurst looked good. He, uh, you know, I was wondering, wait, if he was gonna get down. And I think he, he is fine. Um, and Ryan, Ryan actually made it to the finals. Um, it was a, uh, you know, everything up there was 2-1-1, I believe, the matches. And it was, uh, what was it, a two-point match? Two-point match. And it, uh, it, I, I 
wish it was two two two. It was uh, you know what was his name? The Tony the Caesar. The Caesar. He, he, it was one of those mystery time time. You know, he ended up taking a break on the side of the mat with about thirty seconds left and he catch catch his win. So it was uh, yeah, we'll we'll get another shot at him, I'm sure. Between these two, you know, Ryan state placer last year. Um, took third, lost to Vega, um, came back, ended up wrestling back for third. Um, this season took seventh at Virginia Beach, just got back from Michigan a month ago, ended up going undefeated in Michigan. Uh, it was the first day, I think he went eight no, at the, what was that? Great Grand River Rumble. Rumble. Yeah, and then we turned around and we went individual tournament, he ended up winning the tournament. So. He is definitely wrestling well. Took seventh this year at Virginia Beach. I think uh, you know he, he's moving in the right direction here. So should be a good match. Hurst, on the other hand, state champ year before last. Last year I believe he took fourth. Um, he is finally a senior, so I, I don't know where he'll end up this year. Um, but those two, it will definitely be a good match. Two tough wrestlers. Yeah, they saw each other I think three times last year. So they. Had some back and forth uh, matches, and um, so yeah, be a, another good, uh, good rematch. Um, the only other thing I'll add there is we saw this weekend. I guess Hurst wrestled 116 at at Indiana, um, and Ty was down at 109. Um, Chase Yost was also 109. Um, so I think they still got some stuff to sort out with their lineup where they're going to end up. Yeah, what happens with that? Does Hurst go down, two pounds comes, goes to 15, then what? You know, obviously, whoever wins that rest walk, now you have Tucker. Does he drop down to six? And then what happens to Yost? I believe Yost cut quite a bit to get there. So I don't know. I, I think team-wise, what makes sense for those guys is Yost at six, Tucker at 13, and Hurst at 20. I, uh, that's my opinion, but you know I don't know how it goes on down there at Woodford, so I guess uh, only time will tell. So it would be a shame if one of those guys gets bumped out of that line. I don't, I don't think that's a real thing about him, so. But that's up to the Woodford guys, and I'm sure Rusty will make the call, and they'll figure it out. I'll get it figured out. Okay, uh, next announcement. 152 will be Brady Emerson from Oldham County. Uh, against Andrew Bailey from Cooper. Um, starting to get kind of a Cooper team going here. Um, they've, got a, they've got a pretty good lineup, a number of good kids. Um, so we, so we announced uh, Max last week. So they've got his brother Brady going in. He's, man, I don't remember how many times. He seems like he's been a state placer forever. Um, he's always right there um, with his style. I don't know if he's ever out of a match. And do some uh, some crazy things and get in some crazy positions and find ways to score when you really don't think you can. Um, I remember the first time we had him out at Team Kentucky and I walked off thinking, I don't know if I can coach this guy because everything you say don't, I want to say don't do that. He finds a way to score and, and win in those positions. So um, you definitely, one, you have to get used to coaching because he can do some, some crazy things. Yeah, he's pretty funky to watch. I, I think we've talked about it before. I've made a comment about watching him and his brother. It, it's insane to watch. So, and size-wise, you know, I don't, I don't know if he's got a tape on him or what he has. But he, he looks like a monster right now. So I'm assuming, you know, he gets down to 52, which for this tournament would be 57. I imagine that won't be a big deal. You know, you ask a wrestler what he weighs, and it's always, you know. 10 pound cushion of what they really are. It's even worse when you ask a parent. You usually ask a parent, and it's, ah, oh, he's 106, and he's wrestling this year. So we'll, uh, you know, we'll, we'll see what happens. As far as Bailey, um, we reached out to Bailey. He, uh, he's actually sent his music today, so he picked uh, he picked uh, pretty, pretty good music. So I think he's a state placer. He's a senior as well. Uh, both these guys, it should be pretty entertaining to watch. So. I'm excited for it. We have, like you said, a couple Coop guys in the lineup. Um, you know, these guys are, yeah, pretty solid kids. So, 
Alright, last one. It's the big guys. And we're going to talk about Reed versus Portman. Um, I, I think if anybody got to see last year, they, they saw Reed in the finals with the Monster Myers. Um, you know, it, it's always a moral victory if you don't get pinned in the first like eight seconds or <laughs> get teched in the second. So he, uh, you know, he put up a fight. I, I, I think it was one of those things that, you know, it, it really is. It's a, it's a victory if, you know, the top two twenty in the country doesn't pin you. So um, I had a chance to be around Reed this off season. I just got back from a tournament with him. Um, he, uh, he's a strong kid. I, he, you know, I think with experience, that's probably something that he's still, he's probably, you know, he's just not as smooth as he probably could be. And, and I think that's just from not enough map time. So as far as his athletic ability, him being explosive, his strength, he is, he's a top notch wrestler. So, and I think on the other side with Portman, He's pretty funky. He moves very well for a big guy. Both these kids are athletic. I know Colin Portman is actually playing football right now, and we talked about this before. As soon as we contact him, absolutely, I'll wrestle. You know, so that kind of says something. And not to take a knock on guys playing football, I get it. You know, football shape is not wrestling shape, but you know, Colin, basically, it's one match. I got this. So we're uh, we're excited to see him. I, I, I think these two guys. Depending on how this year falls out, you know, every year the, the brackets come out. We're like, God, I hope this guy's on the other side so we can see it. Um, those two, I, I personally think, will be the top two twenty. So, yeah, I think uh, it'll be interesting to see how Reed develops the next couple of years. Just talking to him a little bit over the weekend up in Indiana, um, and that's exactly the type of thing he needs to get more mat time with some high-level wrestlers. Um, you know, he's, he's coming into ETC and working hard with uh, Casey and Max and Max Andrioni and Max Emerson, uh, rolling around with those guys and uh, definitely developing his style to be more of a, a smaller uh, technical wrestler. Um, just going to take him some mad time uh, to get there. So it'll be interesting to see. Those two moves definitely won't be your typical 220 match. No. The way those two are going to be in there moving around athletic will definitely be uh, pretty exciting. I would expect them to score some points too. I would guess it would be a high score. I don't. I, Portman is just crafty. He is he is a slippery wrestler. So I mean, I, I think Reed probably has a tendency to just come straight ahead at you and just grab a hold of you and. You know, Portman's pretty funky, so, you know, we'll, we'll see what Reed does. You know, does he bull rush him and go after him and, you know, end up in a bad spot? You know, I don't know. So, um, should be exciting. We have a couple questions here. There was a post today on Kentucky Wrestling. Um, one asking about singlets. We have them. Um, at least we have a photo of them, of the red and the blue. Um, pretty nice looking sing singlets. Uh, Jason is actually going to post them tonight so you guys can take a look. We were deciding on how to do the colors. That was also a question asked. Um, there is no team. It's, you know, we got guys from all over the state. So as far as team wise, there's not going to be anything broken up into a team. But what we thought would be a good idea is the new rankings will come out. And we will, the highest ranked guy will wear the blue singlet. So basically, you guys will see at the tournament, the guy with the highest rank has the blue, the challenger looking to take that spot is gonna be in the red. So that should, uh, that should kind of break down the singlet question. And as far as the coach, or this question asked about coaches. These guys are from all over, all over different schools, all over the state. So I, my suggestion would be you can bring anybody you want. Um, if you want to coach, you know, some of you guys might call Kale or something to get him in there. I, you know, I don't know. I don't know what kind of connections you got. Tom Ryan will be in town. Maybe still Tom, him Tom Ryan around. will be in town. I know some of you dads, you know, spend some crazy money. So maybe you could call one of those, those coaches and get them down there. Um, but if, if you can't find a coach, I, I assure you there would be a thousand fanatical wrestling coaches down there that would be more than happy to step into anybody's corner and help them out. So that won't be an issue. If some of you guys want a, a dad or a friend or, you know, a, a brother or something, you know, you guys bring who you want. So it's totally up to you guys. So if not, like I said, we will have somebody for you. Um, 
What about paperwork? Have we got uh, still a few you guys uh, stragglers on uh, getting your information turned back in? Um, I went ahead and put in the singlet order um, last night, um, so we're I think we're pretty well set on sizing for that. But um, you need to get your information back to us as soon as you can, so I can we can get kind of the program sheet filled out. If you don't give us your credentials, um, what your accomplishments have been, and uh, we're not gonna, we're gonna spend a little bit of time maybe trying to fill in just some state placement stuff, but we're not gonna give you all the credit you deserve, and um, you know, it's a chance for you to kind of get called out and, and uh, brag a little bit about what you've done, and then also, um, I don't know, you'll leave yeah. it up to us to pick uh, strawberry shortcake for your yeah. your bulk out music. Barry Manilow. Barry Manilow. Manilow. That's who, that's who we're gonna play. So it's uh, you know, hopefully you guys pick a good song, fill that stuff out. You guys have earned that. Um, all you wrestlers have been invited. You guys, majority of you guys have a list of credentials. I don't, you know, I, I don't need it that you know you were a four-time Kentucky youth champion and then some guy stands up and says that's not a real champion anyways. I, so you guys earn those credentials. Just write them down for us. Um, be proud of what you guys have done. Uh, majority of you guys are juniors, seniors, so you know you, you've accomplished a lot. So, other than that, I think that's probably about it. Next video, we it's Wednesday, maybe Sunday, we'll get another one out. Okay. With, uh, we should be coming down to the last couple of uh, weight classes. Um, I think we have 26, 32, and 195 left. If I'm not mistaken, 26, 32, 195. Um, so we'll fin try to finish those up on Sunday. And um, yeah, I think uh, I won't say too much. Just that uh, one of those will be a little bit of a, a special, special matchup. But um, we'll, we'll, uh, we'll we'll talk about that on Sunday. And the last thing is, you know, for anybody that's watching this, anybody that made the trip to Indiana, um, there was quite a few Kentucky guys there. ETC, um, they were there. I saw Woodford brought a group of guys. Um, good job to all those guys. I, I think there was a post on there showing team scores, and we just, ETC demolished it. It was, those guys were on fire. Um, I think uh, Very impressive. a lot of good matches. Um, some of those kids got six, seven matches in in one day. So there was a couple of finalists. Ryan, I mentioned before, was a finalist. Tyler Tucker was a finalist. Um, Keegan and Zane were both made into the third and fourth. They were in the same weight class, made no sense for those guys to wrestle. They just forfeited out. They wrestled together all the time. Um, so good job to all those guys. And I forgot Casey. Our Winner. Casey, the winner. I, I, you know, Casey. I apologize. You were, you were our sole winner of that, so I, I didn't mean to overlook the uh, good job, Casey. You've been on fire lately. I think uh, Casey finally has settled into a solid seventy pounder and feels comfortable with his body. And uh, I imagine we're probably going to see some. Uh, he's getting ready to head to Super Thirty Two, I believe, right? Uh, I'm not sure. I'm not sure. So he, uh, he, I, I think he's going to be back on the list sooner than later, so uh, we're excited to see that. And all the other guys, Trent, good job. Max, Mason, um, we had some other guys that, yeah, they, they had quite a few matches. In yeah, there. just one one match short, yeah. That was, I don't know, I was talking to a few people, the more and more I sit back and, and think about how everybody wrestled, I've been more and more impressed just with, uh, with the results, so. Um, so even even coming up one match short is pretty impressive uh, at that event. So yeah, I guess Good job. placing top four makes it uh, makes it a little tough. So those guys wrestled well; they really did. And I I really think that I, you know it's funny walking through the crowd. I, I heard multiple comments of Kentucky this, Kentucky that, and uh, you know it, as far as the guys, even a lot of those Woodford guys have trained with. Uh, Rob Austin, and uh, you know, I think him being up there, and you know, the Indiana guys knowing him, and then seeing the crew that he brought up there, it was uh, it was pretty impressive. So, you know, we talk all the time. You know, how's Kentucky doing? And I saw a thread saying something about we're in trouble. Um, but you know, I, I really think that we are actually on the rise. 
Um, I, I think for our guys to actually go to events like that, if you guys look through those brackets, you would see there was a lot of, you know, ranked kids. I mean, it was, you know, in every weight class. So, you know, for all the Kentucky kids to go up there and to wrestle like that, it was, uh, it was pretty impressive. So, good job, guys. All right. That's it. We'll see you on Sunday. All right.